What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and welcome to the best weak-footed players in FIFA Ultimate Team. And it's another top five on display live and in demand. And if you guys could smash 600 to 700 likes, it tells me you're enjoying the content. I do realize it's getting towards the end of FIFA, and we got a new installment on the horizon. Also, drop a comment. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Always open for feedback and suggestions. If you guys need Ultimate Team coins, ufifa.com in the description. Mike's 9 M-I-C-H-S-09 for 5% off. And we got G2A, they got games, they got PSN codes, they got MSP codes, what? Dirty, 3% off, also in the description, let's get into this. I'm back with the honorable mentions, we have too many strong candidates in this category, we got Santi Cazorla, he's clever on the ball, he's got a perfect touch, he has the ability to hit it from distance, then we have the non-rare from heaven, left-footed son, he's tall, and he's also a great option in the Bundesliga, you need to try out somebody new, maybe the sweat's not working with Obama Yang and Lewandowski, son is there. He's on deck. He's locked and loaded. And then we have Trakowski, the glorious silver player that actually, in my opinion, is more like an 80 as a gold. He's small, but he doesn't feel like he's going to get pushed over easily. He's got good passing, and he also has that distance shooting. A great cam. Don't use him as a center mid. Do not use him as a CDM. Use him as a cam. To kickstart the countdown at number five, we've got the all-around beast, Hernanes. And the Brazilian, you can use him as a cam, a center mid, or a CDM. He is very versatile, and he's a top five in the game for shooting from well outside the box. Whether you're using his finesse shot or his driven shot, he's on point. He's got amazing free kicks. I love using and abusing with Hernanez. Foreign and Horn, we've got Chikawi. The only silver with five-star weak foot, five-star skill moves. He's six foot two. He's got a 92 for agility. He's quick as lightning. What else could you ask for? At the midway point, we've got another overpowered, non-rare player. And one of my favorite midfielders in FIFA 14, De Bruyne. He's balanced, he's consistent, and he doesn't do anything bad in terms of attacking footy on the pitch. I can talk about everything he does well, but to be honest, there's nothing he doesn't do above average. And that's what's made him just a stellar, standout, primetime performer in this year's title. At the runner-up position, we've got Mr. 5-5, five and five, Neymar. He's got explosion, he's got pace, and the crisp skill moves. Ooh, it's a thing of beauty. And he's a finesse shot granted to him from the FIFA gods. It's so lovely. A lot of my best highlights and some of my best compilations have came from Neymar working and twerking while he's on the ball. I love him, and that's why he's at number two. He's passed up De Bruyne. Topping the charts, we've got the gifted and talented Draxler, and he's one of the most influential players in this year's installment. And I always rocked with De Bruyne. That was my main man, possibly because he was in the the BPL, and that was really easy for a lot of different link-up plays. I make a lot of squads out of the Premiership, but Draxler has won me over. He's a little bit bigger. He feels a little bit stockier, and you can play him as a center forward or a striker with much better success than De Bruyne, but he's the total package. Anything and everything you could ask for in FIFA, Draxler is the main man. And if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter and Facebook at DirtyMikeUSA, and I have a lot more content coming for you ASAP ASAP.